Okay, today we'll have a go at little Robin. Robin, rocking Robin. And he'll be sitting on a spade or a fork. So two circles again, one for the main body, one for the head. Join them together. Very much like the horse that we did the other day. A tail, just an oblong shape. Legs, one leg comes down like this, following from his bottom. Another leg just there. Notice the distance there is narrower than the distance there. Wider here than there. And we'll put him standing on this spade. Just roughly draw it in like this, just a T-shape. I suppose he'll need an eye. A little round dot in there for the light bit of the eye. And a beak, a little triangle. that. Voila, a robin. Now it's got no wings and no feathers. So let's put the feathers on. We'll do a curvy line like this. And that can join up to the back. And then we'll put a triangle there and a triangle there. And then just go around the head a little bit underneath the beak and then go round the tummy and then on top of the head it goes a bit flat there and comes round and then they're in and then round for the feathers he's got some claws one two three four one two three Four. Legs are very thin. And that is about it. I guess you could put some clouds in. Don't have to. Okay. So that's your basic robin shape. Let's rub out the construction lines, circles, and then we can either just fill that in with pencil or with paint. I'm gonna use some paint. It's a funny shaped robin. No, it's not too bad, not too bad. Things are okay. So where to begin? Well, we'll pick up a brush for starters and Let's just do the red of the rubbing red breast first, the most important bit. Okay, so up to the head, around the eye, carefully around the eye. You can go all the way around, around the beak. A bit more paint. And then down for the rest of the body. Not all the way down. Something like that. Clean your brush, just with water on the brush. Just touch the side of the red with the brush so that you can see how it smooths it. It kind of blends it into the rest of the white space like that. Kind of looks a bit like feathers, doesn't it? Left a gap there for no reason at all. Okay, so that looks quite nice. Now we're going to do the rest of the body. We'll do the, the feathers and the legs and the handle. So let's just pick up a bit of pale brown and the top of the head, avoiding the red. Just paint that shape in, paint the tail feather shape in. And then his legs, one leg, two legs, and his feet. And with that same color, but just with more water, just painting the handle of the spade. 
Okay, let's give it the hairdryer treatment. And then pick up some pale blue for the rest of the body. Where it overlaps the red, just as you did before, just with clean brush, just run that along that edge. So it blends into the red, okay? Now let's do the feathers, some detail on the feathers. So let's pick up dark blue and dark brown together. Make a little mixture. And let's draw some feathers. Some there, one, two, three, four, five, and then some for the tail, like that. And his legs, a bit of shadow under there, a bit of shadow under there. Okay. Clean your brush and a bit of Pale brown again. Let's do the, well, no, not pale brown. I think we'll use a bit of blue and a bit of brown. So almost like a gray. For the beak. And then with brown and the blue, no water, just brown and blue. So it's a nice thick color. Just paint the eye, but leave a little dot in the middle. So the middle will be the bit that catches the light. Now he's almost done. Let's do a little bit of work on the spade, just with the dark brown. Give it a bit of shape. Make it look a little bit more like a spade. And if it's made of wood, it might have some wood grain on it. Something like that. Now the robin needs to have a round tummy. It looks a bit flat at the moment. So what we'll do is just pick up a bit of the dark blue. And just run that underneath. Underneath the tummy. And around here and up here. Clean brush again and along the edge. Some water running away there. That's all you need to do there. So there you have a robin. Sort of a robin anyway. You can go on and fiddle with it a little bit more if you want to. Put some more detail in. A bit darker underneath the beak perhaps. Some more shading, a bit more shading on the spade maybe, or even some blue sky around those clouds that we drew earlier. Carefully avoiding painting too much into the robin. A bit more. There you go. Sort of a sky and sort of a robin. Just for fun. Okay, finished. If you want to share that, send it to anybody you think might enjoy doing a robin. And uh, I'll see you next time. We'll think of another animal perhaps to do.